Okay, in order to create the overtone series, we have to have a starting fundamental pitch. And we can start on any note, but it's easy to start on the note C. So we'll just start on the note C, and we'll start on a really low C, so we have room to move up. Now, the first overtone of this fundamental pitch would be an octave up. And the second overtone would be a perfect fifth up. So perfect fifth up from C is G. And we go from octave, perfect fifth, and now we go perfect fourth, which is C again. And after that, we have a major third, and then a minor third, and then another minor third, and then we start moving by steps, and then we start moving by half steps, until we get to the final C. And so this gives us 16 notes, and the first note is called the fundamental. All of the other notes are referred to as overtones, and each of them can be called a partial. So this could be, this, the fundamental is the first partial, and so we have partial number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So the first partial is the fundamental. And the first overtone is this note. The second partial is the first overtone. And then that note would be the second overtone and so forth. So what I want you to see from here is that the intervals become smaller as we ascend and a lot of these notes are so out of tune they can hardly be called these notes, um, but traditionally this is the, the way we write it. This F sharp really in this overtone series would be a lot lower than that. That A is, some people even write it as A flat because it's so low, but um, this is the way it's traditionally been taught in the old music theory books. So this is a way, a good way to memorize it. So this is the overtone series and how you write it on the staff.